Lifetime Award winner for music. Once every 25 years or so, we come across a once in a lifetime musician that changes the way we listen to music and music is made from that point on. We had the Beatles in the 60s, Nirvana in the 90s, and Drake for the 2010s. Now, I grew up listening to Michael Jackson and I always loved his voice and his catchy rhythms and his groovy bass lines, but I, I didn't take a second to stop and look at what made him so big. As I grew up, I realized that it was Quincy Jones one of his producers. He was behind all the groovy bass lines, the trumpets, the synths, everything like that. And I believe that he deserves this award today. Now I believe I'm qualified to speak on it, on this behalf and give him this award because I, relieved, I received thousands of dollars of scholarships from UNT, LIU, and I was the top awarded musician in my district back home. Quincy Jones has always been an inspiration to me while creating music, and without him, we wouldn't have the music we know and love today. Quincy Jones was born in Chicago, Illinois, and raised in Seattle, Washington. He grew up in a gospel quartet and studying trumpet. And if we listen back, we can hear that these two elements inspir inspired him later on in his life, and we can hear them in his music. Oops. Shortly after junior high, he was accepted into Berklee College of Music. At Berklee, he found himself playing piano, trumpet, and arranging. He soon found, he soon found himself aligning more with, the, with an arranger more than anything else. Now this comes into part, this comes into play, because in the early 1950s, he would arrange for people such as Duke Ellington, Ray Charles, and Dina Washington, and many more great legends from that time. Now this was significant because this was the first time he had public bodies of work that were gaining traction. Around this time in 1963, he got his first Grammy with, with Count, Bo, Count Basie's I Can't Stop Loving You. Also that year, he wrote a hit that is one of his biggest to this day, Frank Sinatra's Fly Me to the Moon. He also around this time was the first black man to become a high level executive at an established record company. And this changed, and paved, this changed the music business and paved the way for countless others to follow in his footsteps. Changes Quincy made. Now, as I just stated, Quincy Jones changed and paved the way for business from the business side of music for fellow people of diversity to be high up execs at a music record label company. This is huge. This was groundbreaking at the time. Also, Michael Jackson released Thriller in 1982, selling 35 million copies. This was the biggest selling album at the time of all time. And I think this alone is enough to win an award. I mean, to this day, it's one of the best albums of all time. He also raised millions of dollars for a charity with his We Are The World event, only using the power of music and arranging. Uh, excellence in music performance involves two major components, like a genuine understanding of what music is about, its structure and meaning, and a complete mastery of the in instrumental technique. And I believe this, is, this embodies everything Quincy Jones did in this era of his life. The Lifetime Achievement in Music Award is presented by the Recording Academy's National Trustees to performers and producers who, may, who make contributions of outstanding artistic significance in the field of recording. And these are some of the previous winners. Michael Jackson, who he produced for, Bob Dylan. Aretha Franklin, who he produced for, George Harrison. Mike Dean, another producer. Jimi Hendrix, Nirvana, Queen, Bob Marley, and Stevie Wonder. Reasons he has earned this award. Not many can say that they have changed the music business side, the music from a music standpoint side, and the way we do, th we, the way we pr operate in a studio on a day-to-day -day basis. From the business side, as I've mentioned, he was a pioneer in his field, being the first black man to break through the, the recording label's walls and get to the highest spot one can receive in a rec record label. He also forever changed the sound of music with multiple classic albums from multiple artists and multi multiple genres, including hip hop, R&B, classical, jazz, blues, pop, and many more genres. 
Using the power of music, he raised millions of dollars, as I've also stated, and this has never been done before. Many have tried to recreate it, but it hasn't been successful, such as his We Are The World event. Successful persuaders are socially flexible, able to change strategies depending on context. This can be summarized as saying successful people are adapted to change in time and time and time again. Quincy Jones has adapted and made change to the music business, ultimately defining what I call success. It's almost impossible to list all the reasons he deserves this award. As George Pagaro has stated, Quincy Jones wears so many different hats that it's a heady task just trying to keep up with his latest exploits, let alone his story past. And I believe that is the perfect way to state why he deserves this award. If anyone deserves this award, it is Quincy Jones. He's done so much to influence the business side of things, the music side of things, and just everything in general in his 70 years of work. When I think of the Lifetime Music Achievement Award, I think of Quincy Jones. So, without further ado, I would like to welcome Quincy Jones up to the stage. Thank you.